स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी नाइस स्टोरी अ वेरी नाइस मॉरल स्टोरी ऑफ एट एस्टेंड बुक इट सो हैपन सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर चैप्टर नंबर वन द टॉपिक इज हाउ द कैमल गोट हीज हम so this is divided into two part in first part what we have to learn before we go we have to know that the world had just begun and the animals were working for humans okay jab duniya shuru hui animals insano ke liye kaam karna start kar diya so what was the first animal who was you which was used to work for the human that was dog okay there was one lazy animal that did nothing and said nothing but hum ek lazy animal tha unme se jo kuch bhi nahi karta tha aur har cheez ka every answer he gave in the form of answer hum even the clever gene was at his wit end even ke jo clever gene tha वो भी इससे काफ़ी परेशान था हीज रिट्स इन मीन्स परेशानी होना इन द बिगिनिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द स्टोरी सो हेयर यू डोंट बी कन्फ्यूज कि वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द पास्ट एक्टिविटी इट इज अ स्टोरी ओके सो हेयर इन द बिगिनिंग वेन द वर्ल्ड वॉज न्यू एंड द एनिमल्स वॉज जस्ट बिगिनिंग to work for man there was a camel and he lived in the middle of a howling desert because he didn't want to work okay shuru mein kya thi jab duniya bani thi animals were just beginning to work for man insano ke liye jo animals kaam karte the unme se ek camel tha jo is tapti howling desert reteli desert mein raha karta tha uske beecho beech because he didn't want to work Why didn't he want to work? Because generally the people, the animals, human creatures uh, in the desert, they don't get place or all kind of facilities. So the generally lazy man or lazy people, human beings, wish to live in this kind of area. So uh, he also, camel also, didn't want to work. He ate. sticks and thorns and prickles because we don't get that particular things in the desert so camel used to eat sticks and thorns and prickles okay because he was not working and when anybody spoke to him he said humph and whenever he had anybody said to him work what answer he gave he used to give answer humph just humph and no more presently the horse came to him on monday morning so now here it is starting presently the horse came to him on morning monday morning with a saddle on his back and said camel oh camel come out and trot like the rest of us monday morning horse aata hai usko bolta hai ye ओ कैमल कैमल कम आउट एंड ट्रोट लाइक द रेस्ट ऑफ वर्क और हम लोग जैसे आके काम करो ये हॉर्स बोलता है उसको हम सैड द कैमल एंड द हॉर्स वेंट अवे एंड टोल द मैन बट वट वॉज द आंसर एज यूजल द आंसर वॉज हम गिवन बाई द कैमल ओके सो हॉर्स वेंट अवे फ्रॉम द and he reported to the man there was a man so these animals used to report the man so first animal was horse who has reported to man first time presently the dog came to him with a stick in his mouth and said ab kya tha ki ve uske paas ab ek dog chala gaya with his Um, stick in his mouth and said see usually the dog used to run whenever you will throw 
any kind of stick he used to work it shows that your dog is uh, following the instruction of human being whenever you throw a stick the this side or that side he will just go and pick up that and bring to you and hand over to you so these things uh, do generally the dog so um, here uh, in down to jin the pronunciation uh, either it is starting from d so pronunciation will be jin we have to keep in mind so next came camel oh camel come and fetch and carry like the rest of us ab uh, what the dog said to the camel camel come and fetch and carry like the rest of us aao aur hum hi log ke jaise kaam karo hum said the camel and the dog went away and told the man what was the usual answer camel said hum uh, then after dog went from there and he also reported to the man presently the ox came to him with the yoke on his neck and said camel oh camel come and plow like the rest of us now the ox used to do plowing so he also came to the camel and requested him to do work but what the uh, and to plow like the rest of us but the hump answer what was the answer you can tell answer was like that hump there then of so same thing the ox did he went from there and told to the man so like this all the three animals came to the um, all the three characters uh, came uh, and requested to the camel to do any kind of work because he was not doing any things and all these three animals were doing work so he and they reported and they requested to the camel but camels all the time he said only humph and they all three animals reported to the man one by one at the end of the day the man called the horse and the dog and the ox together and said three oh three i am very sure you of you for you so here the man called all of these three animals horse dog and ox and to oh three i am very sorry for you and uh, next what happened see the picture here okay he, the man has called all these three animals and told about sorry but that hump thing in the desert can't work or he would have been there by now so i am going to leave him alone and you must work double time to make up for it now we should leave that particular uh, uh, camel because he is not working so what i am thinking you must work double to make up for it now you three have to work so see because instead of camel all these three animals have to work more so what happened next that made the three very angry and so these things made these all three animals very angry and they held a panchayat on the edge of the desert so and the camel came chewing cud and laughing at them then he said humph and went away so having seen this uh, meeting camel uh, suddenly came uh, there uh, chewing cud and laughed upon them and said humph and went from there so Uh, because they were very angry no because camel was not doing instead of camel's work they had to do all kind of fox presently there came alone the jin who was in charge of all deserts rolling in a cloud of dust so now the fourth uh, fifth character in this story enters that is jin jin came because he, he was the owner of the desert he came rolling in a cloud of dust okay um cloud ke dust mein se roll karte hue generally it's happen in movies or uh, uh, other serials jin how does appear so here you see how the cloud it is showing in picture how does jin came and telling to all these three animals so now 
जिन ऑफ ऑल डेजर्ट्स सेट द हॉर्स इज इट राइट फॉर एनी वन टू बी एडिल हॉर्स ने जिन को बोला क्या ये सही है कि हम आइडियल हो जाए सर्टनली नॉट सेट द जिन जिन ने बोला नहीं वेल सेट द हॉर्स देर इज अ थिंग इन द मिडिल ऑफ योर डेजर्ट विथ अ लॉन्ग नेंक एंड लॉन्ग लेग्स एंड ही हैजेंट डन ए स्ट्रॉक ऑफ वर्क सिंस मंडे मॉर्निंग ही वॉन्ट ट्रॉट तो फिर हॉर्स ने क्या रिपोर्ट की जिनको जिनको बताया कि है ह्यूमन क्रिएचर हु हैज लॉन्ग ही नेक एंड लॉन्ग लॉन्ग लेग्स ही डजेंट डू एनी कैंड ऑफ वर्क सिंस मॉर्निंग ही हैज नॉट डन वी यू सैड द जीन विस्लिंग दैट्स माई कैमल वाई डज ही से अबाउट इट सो ही से इज हम्प एंड ही वॉन्ट प्लाव सेट द ऑक्स ऑक्स ने बोला कि ओनली ही सेज हम्प एंड ही डोंट डू एंड ही डजेंट डू एनी कैंड ऑफ वर्क वेरी सैड सेट द जीन आई एल हम फिम If you will kindly wait a minute, okay. Don't worry. I'll harm him. Means I will treat him very politely. I'll treat him very properly, appropriately. Him. Let me check. So here, uh, see, I will harm him. Means I will deal with him appropriately. I will set him right. Now the second part starts. In second part, what's happen after these when the work has been assigned all these three animals they became very angry and uh, jean also entered in the story after that what happened the jean remonstrated with the camel who said humph talked to the camel who said humph the camel's beautiful back suddenly grew a humph which was the camel's humph ओके बट नाउ रियली इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी कम विल कम टू नो कि हाउ द हम बिकेम हम्फ मीन्स हाउ डिड द कैमल गेट हिज हम द जीन एस्योर द कैमल हिज हम वुड ऑलवेज बी हेल्पफुल नॉट अ हिंड्रेंस सो वी विल सी इन द सेकेंड पार्ट नाउ स्टार्ट फ्रॉम मे फॉर सेकेंड पार्ट द जीन रोल्ड हिमसेल्फ अप इन हिज डस्ट कॉक and took a walk across the desert and found the camels looking at his own reflection in a pool of water so uh, here uh, the jin came and uh, talked to the uh, try to the uh, try to look camel what did he find and the camel was looking his face his hump uh, his uh, hump reflex, reflection in a pool of water in a pool of water my friend said the jin what's they i hear of you doing no work yahan ji aata hai bolta hai usko what did i listen about the, um, you from the people my friend you are nothing doing you are doing nothing tum kuch kaam nahi kar rahe ho the jin sat down with his chin in his hand apne haath ko apni चिन्ह पे देखकर जिन बैठ जाता है वेल द कैमल लुकड एट हिज ओन रिफ्लेक्शन इन द पूल ऑफ वाटर इन द पूल ऑफ वाटर यू हैव गिवन द थ्री एक्स्ट्रा वर्क इवर सिंस मॉर्निंग यू हैव गिवन द थ्री एक्स्ट्रा वर्क इवर सिंस मॉर्निंग मंडे मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ योर आइडिलनेस सेट द जिन एंड ही went on thinking with his chin in his hand means here the chin asked to the told to the camel that extra work ever since monday morning means they are doing and you are idle you are not doing any things and uh, he was thinking he was uh, thinking about this next humph said the camel but as usual what was the answer of the camel humph nothing else i should not say that again if i were you said the jin you might say it once to offend i want you to work 
अगर मैं तुम्हारी जगह होऊंगा तो मैं तो कभी ये नहीं बोलूंगा भाई यू माइट से इट वंस टू ऑफ एन आई वॉन्ट यू टू वर्क मैं देखना चाहता हूँ कि तुम काम करो आई वॉन्ट यू टू वर्क and the camel said humph again the camel said humph but no sooner had he said it than he saw his back jaise hi wo dekha tha is cheez ko to achanak usne dekha apni back par that he was so proud of puffing up and puffing up into a great big pump what did he see uh, on his back he said that it is um, become it has become bigger um, as compared to previous so it has uh, the camel has got its great big hump now how did he come to know when he was um, watching uh, looking himself into the pool do you see that said the jinn that's your uh, very own hump that you have brought upon your very own self by not working this is the result that you have not done three days so now you have got your real hump today is thursday so here you can see since monday nothing work has been done by the camel that's why his body got rest and uh, he has got that big hump so the jin is telling today it is thursday from monday monday tuesday wednesday three days you have done you you didn't do any kind of work when the work begun now you are going to work jab se kaam start hua tha tab se to aap ki nahi thi kuch kaam so now you have to work okay jin is telling to camel how can i said the camel just this on on my here you see at the first time the camel opens his mouth and he said how can i said the camel with his hump on my back is back ke sath main apne ko kaise kaam kar sakunga that has a purpose said the jinn all because you missed those three precious days you will be able to work now for 3 days without eating because you can live on your hump ab yahan jin bata raha hai ki tumne wo 3 precious days bita diye hain tumne kuch nahi kiya 3 din so you can survive yourself without eating okay and don't you ever say i never did anything for you aur fir baad mein mat kehna ki mujhe bataya nahi कि मुझे तीन दिन काम करना चाहिए था चूँकि मैंने तीन दिन काम नहीं किया तो इसी वजह से मेरी हम फैसी हो गई और फिर आगे कैसे काम करूँगा कम आउट ऑफ द डेजर्ट एंड गो टू द थ्री एंड बिहेव चलो इस डेजर्ट से बाहर निकलो और उन तीनों से मिलो और उनसे बिहेव करो एंड द कैमल वेंट अवे टू ज्वाइन द थ्री और फिर वहाँ से कैमल उन तीनों को ज्वाइन करने चला जाता है एंड फ्रॉम दैट डे टू दिस the camel always wears a hump we call it hump now not to hurt his feelings okay aur us din se camel jo hai apne aapko hump kiya rehta hai hump aane rehta hai hum so they use hum pyar se hump kehte hain not our intention should not be there to hurt him but he has never yet caught up with the three days that he missed at the beginning of the world and he has never yet learned how to behave means see this last line it tells that the times once passed never back so we have to utilize the days whatever we have got and we should work for on um, we should work on it so uh, this was the story this was the moral story that we got ke camel ne apni wo teen precious days jo bita diye jiska usko badla nahi mil saka jisko puri tarike se complete nahi kar saka aur abhi tak bhi wo aisa hi hai slow hai and he has never yet learned how to behave aur abhi tak wo nahi seekh paya ki kaise logo se behave kiya jana chahiye so 
this was written by rodier kaplin he is very good writer thank you for watching you all enjoy if you have enjoyed this video you like share and subscribe and do comment bye